Yo, what is going on, you nutty nuts leaf? Just gonna be playing some games with the good old baby blounds today. This is the list. Let's go ahead. Let's get into some games. All right, getting into one here. Gonna be going second, probably. I keep saying that in these videos, and then sometimes they let me go first. I'm like, whoa, okay, I guess we're going first. Uh, but yeah, we're going second here. Our hand is okay. We got a quick ball to work with. Got the switch, so we could get that um, Jirachi. Um, switch into that. Do a stellar wish. Uh, have the option for a turn one dunk. We could also just, depending on what our opponent's playing, we could just go like attach active. I mean, use heart, there's card and energy. Attach active. Get the Zation if it's in there. And uh, do the Zation thing. It also depends on our topic. Okay, it is an ADP deck. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Lots of ADP out there. We're up against one here. Maybe we'll top deck Welder, use Welder, put Hearth in play, and just donk the ADP. That would be pretty cool. Um, Acrobat from our opponent, so they're definitely playing a more aggressive. Whoa, BD. All right, more aggressive list for sure. They're trying to turn one GX attack if they go second with that card. Um, all right, all right, interesting list from our opponent. Let's see what we top deck here. Is an energy. Um, I'm gonna start with quick ball away and energy and just see what's up. Oh, we prized three three Jirachi. Three Jirachi are prized. Let's check our energy situation. Uh, three Jirachi, one energy prized. That's four of them. One welder prized. Um, so a lot of cool stuff is prized right now, which kind of stinks. Um, I think I do want to go after this Jirachi and Stellar Wish. Uh, we could also just go with the Dene, but I have the switch in hand, which kind of makes me want to go after the Jirachi. Um, I'm kind of torn here, though. The, the Dene seems pretty good, too. I'm going to go with the Dene, actually. I kind of changed my mind throughout that process. I think we need to be a little bit more aggressive. This hand is a little bit too... Uh, lackluster didn't open a Jirachi so yeah I think we want to be a little bit more aggressive here okay we have what two in there we can hearth away another one and then I'm gonna need to quick ball as well for the Zation um I don't know how aggressive I want to be with this carding energy here so I'm gonna get rid of one obviously with that get these two and then I'm gonna end up with four in here if I want to keep the ultra space, but I could give the ultra space. Nah, we have to give up the ultra space to the flint if we wanted to. All right, grab ourselves that Zation. Uh, I mean, we could thin out with the flint again, but if we get Marnie, all of our energy would end up on the bottom of the deck. I think we should hit with the Intrepid Sword here. No, um, no welder yet. Uh oh, this is where we get in trouble. Um, against the ADP deck, if they're able to pull off an Ultimate Ray. It becomes really tough to make that comeback. Um, they haven't done it yet. Yeah, they have not ultimate raid yet. We have two uh, two prize Pokemon in play. So if they get like the GX attack this turn, and then ultimate ray, uh, like great catcher ultimate ray knockout to Dene, uh, we'll definitely be in trouble. We're definitely gonna be in trouble. We can still top deck Welder or switch into Stellar, which there's a Marnie from our opponent. Okay, that's actually that's pretty good there's no there's they saw our hand too they used the captivating wink still opting to change our hand and there's the welder um all of a sudden it's looking kind of good here we can definitely get a knockout here top deck return another fire gonna go ahead and hearth away the switch to start our turn then out the fires out of the deck we really just want a flint i think is what we're looking for go ahead welder two draw three there's a flint um we have all the energy we need i'm gonna start using heat factory here uh, because we do have plenty of energy and i just want to see more cards uh there's an orcorio there's a lucky egg they can maybe knock us out next turn but it's unlikely i'm gonna go ahead and flint away the uh switch in the egg i think and maybe bench the orcorio jigs because we already have a bunch of two prizers down anyways put the egg on the orcorio for that protection Let's see kill the third discard real fast all right i'm gonna get rid of switch and wait well, 5, 10, so we have 3 in deck. Yeah, I guess we'll go like this. Keep the egg and the, the Oracory around. Yeah, 3 in the deck. Get those out. Play the Fire Crystal. Get these. Yeah, because if I put down the Oracory, I actually kind of want the egg on it to protect it. Because uh, this means that if they knock out our active, we draw 3 with Oracory. And then if they knock out our Oracory, we draw from the egg. So it protects the it protects our draw power on the next turn, guaranteed. We'll draw some kind if they take a knockout. If they don't take a knockout, we're fine with that as well. So also the possibility they just don't take a knockout. Which means they didn't take a knockout. <laughs> See how many Jirachis we get here. Two, two of the three prized Jirachis into the hand. So there's one more Jirachi prized. Uh, one fire energy prized. 
and something else. I forgot what the last one. Welder, I think. Yeah, it's Fire Energy, Jirachi, Welder left in the prize cards there. We got the Fire Crystal out, which is maybe the most important one to see there. Um, still two Fire Crystal and a Retrieval and the Ordinary Rod next. We have plenty of energy, I think, left to close out this game. Especially because they're opting for Mawile. A little bit less HP than the Zacian. Even if they get the Frying Pan, it should be an easy knockout. Um, if we get access to the, the cards we need. They still have a Research to play. Oh, they're going to go Custom first. Yep. We're going to get the knockout with the Wily Bite, and if we can just knock this thing out, then we can respond with the Burst GX to just close out the game, or Karamaran to snipe something off the bench for way cheaper than a Baby Brown to knock something out. So, just got to get this one last big knockout on this Mawile with a Blacephalon, and then it gets a lot easier from there. We're going to draw a lot of cards this turn if the Heat Factory stays in place. We'll have the Dance of Tribute, we'll have the Heat Factory. Um, zero Stadium, we've seen zero. Oh, there's a Pan. Alright, he's got 200 HP now, and no weakness. So, it's, it's four energy instead of two um so a little bit more not too much more and the heat factory stuck which means we're going to draw a lot more cards um all right set up jirachi yeah so if they had gone attach double pan here plus great catcher this we would have had and i didn't end up with the egg on my active line i would have had no draw power this turn um but we went around about it the other way got that draw power going um we'll start with the dancer tribute here not going to use the ordinary rod yet I'm going to go into the Heat Factory. I'm going to go into the Stellar Wish. I'm going to grab the Welder. And that should be the knockout. We have the Burst GX set up ready for the next turn. And with the Retrieval. And that's it. Definitely an error from our opponent. We had a lot of energy in our hand and a lot of outs to energy. Um, but one thing we did not have. How many switch do we have left? This is our last switch. So we're going to go Skateboard. I'm going to throw this here because it's useless now. I'm going to quick ball away a Jirachi, thin out the deck, grab the Cramorant, have the Cramorant option on the next turn. I'm going to Palpad back in to Welder. I'm going to Fire Crystal for three, um, and then Fire Crystal. We're going to need we're gonna need the other three as well. I didn't want to get these, get these three, but we kind of have to. Um, and then I think I will Ordinary Rod to put two basic energy back in the deck so the rest of our flints are a little bit more live. Just in case we need him to make the Cramorant live or something. Attach here. Um, could bench the other Jirachi. Could not. Probably gonna not. Um, how many crystal do we have left? One. The two back in. Major Juvel. No, we're just gonna go ahead and Fireball Circus. One, two, three, four. 200 damage. Knock out our opponent's Mawile GX. To go down to the one prize card. Like I said, this is how it was looking. It was like gonna pan out. I thought I would be knocking out a Zacian on this turn. We knocked out a Mawile instead. That's still fine. Now we're looking at either Cramorant, Snipe the Jirachi, or just use the Burst GX from the Blacephalon GX and close it out. Uh, it, it's looking good. It's looking good. Uh, I don't see a way our opponent ever wins this game. They're probably gonna get the knockout this turn. Like this guy will probably get set up, attach, knock out our Blacephalon. They'll go down to two prize cards so they win on the next turn. But we should win a turn before our opponent here every time. We got the egg on the Oracorio, so our draw is safe through Stamp or Marnie. Unless they play like a Lysander Lab, the one thing they could do would be like Lysander Labs, uh, Great Catcher, knock out Oracorio, Stamp us to one. Then I'd be a little scared. Our Dedenne is gone. Our Zacian's in play. Our Zacian in play is good, but like, oh yeah, our Dedenne has been used. The only thing we have for like draw power off board would be an Intrepid Swords. We'd be looking to like hit hit really well <laughs> off of the um, uh, top deck plus stellar wish. We have to draw really, really well off top deck plus stellar wish. Here is the Shrine of Punishment. That's fine. That doesn't do anything. It gets damage on Oracorio and Dedenne, but at this point, I mean, bumping the Heat Factor, I'm sure, is the uh, biggest reason to do that from our opponent. Like, just get the Heat Factor out of play just in case. There's an Absol. Not going to make it if we have a switch. We have a Welder, so we could Welder one to Jirachi, then get probably a way to attach an energy onto a Blacephalon. We'd still be fine. We did just shuffle two energy back in the deck with the Ordinary Rod, and we have three Fiery Flint left, so we're no no trouble there. Keep digging with the Dene. Yeah, the, the card they would need here is Stamp or Marnie uh, to have a chance at this point. If they even have any of those left. Let's take a look. They played one Marnie. Decks usually play two Marnie. The ADP Station usually play two, but there's a Brave Blade, so we are going to be taking the dub here on our next turn with the Blacephalons. Well, stuff on GX's burst GX attack. Um, just need to get into my turn. Here we go. Jirachi up. Draw for turn. Plus Cephalon down. Attach to the blown. Ret switch into the blown. I was going to say retreat into the blown. Can't retreat. Burst GX. Draw our last prize card. And that's going to do it for this one. And it's a fire energy. 
for our blonde as well. And we're going to get that first dub over this ADP. All right, into another one we go. Hopefully going first on this one. Uh, I mean, we did win going second last game, but it's always nice to go first. Get a turn with Intrepid Sword or something like that. Let's see. Heads, tails. All right, we lost the coin flip, so probably going second. I mean, it's still possible we go first. Um, but, uh, yeah, probably going second, unless our opponent is playing, like, a turn one. I don't know, ADP GX attack deck or my Picaram. But yeah, we're going second. Really good hand, though. Yeah, pretty insane start, not gonna lie. We have a lot of options in this hand. A lot of stuff we can build on with it. This is pretty good. Uh, yeah, we've got the Zacian double Jirachi. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw down. No, we'll just hold on to the hand. Um, they can't Marnie. The thing they could do, I guess, would be stamp us, but uh, very unlikely to go from six to six. So yeah, probably not gonna get stamped here. Because um, they can't play a supporter anyways, they're not going to be like discarding the stamp. They can just hold the stamp for a future turn once they like built up on my hand a little bit more or something like that. So yeah, literally no reason for them to stamp us here. Um, so we're not getting stamped. And they can't turn one supporter, so we're not getting Marnie. There goes a Mew with a quick ball. Um, there's an ADP. All right, another ADP. Zation is here. Uh, let's see how it goes. They are playing the Aurora Energy build, which means they're playing the Tag Call build. Most likely, I guess they could be playing Aurora without it. There's a Vitality Band immediately to the ADP and switch into the ADP. It looks like got a Dead Change. Oh, and switch back. Dead Change coming out. Custom for three. Okay, they're going really aggressive here turn one. They do want to find that Zacian, though, and they whiffed it. That's good for us. There is a Welder already. That is super good for us. We're going to go Bench Blown. Welder to the Blown. Draw some cards. Um, bench the Zation for sure. Hearth away, something. Double Stellar, which is pretty cool. I want a Hearth away. I don't want to really want to get rid of the Quick Ball. I think the Quick Ball might go here because I do want to keep the Jirachi around, or we could Quick Ball away an energy that we get off the Hearth to find another Jirachi. It doesn't seem as productive. I think we're getting rid of the Quick Ball because I do want two Jirachi in play. Two Jirachi in play, I feel like it's super good with uh, clowns when you can get it going. Um, I'm gonna grab the adventure bag. Grab the, or use the pal pad. Uh, adventure bag, gonna grab the Springer escape board, set up for that early KO. And we could get Marty next turn, which is definitely something we wanna play around. So we're gonna throw all this in play. And that Intrepid Sword for three. Oof, not a whole lot of energy to work with. We still are short uh, a Flint and an Attachment. But we have the Hearth currently to work with. Would not be surprised if that gets replaced, though. Uh, yeah, would not be surprised if that Hearth gets replaced. But we've got the Flint to work with. And, or we need a Flint. We have the Hearth to work with. We need a Flint. A Fiery Flint. But we got Stellar Wish, possibly a second Stellar Wish, plus a top deck. Uh, four Flints in the deck. Pretty reasonable shot to find a flint. Uh, flint is definitely what we need, though. Flint is definitely the the, the missing piece here. So we're going to probably start the turn with Hearth away, Jirachi. Um, if Hearth sticks, which we're hoping it does. We're hoping our Hearth sticks around. One still has all of their stadiums left. There's a reset stamp. Um, oh, yep. And they got the stadium replacement. All right. So it's just going to be... We need flint and an attachment. So we basically need two flint now that they've gotten rid of our Hearth. Going to opt to not stamp. Seems reasonable to me. Uh, the Shrine is ticking up on this guy, which is pretty good for us. Um, and actually, in the current situation, because we have the Beast Bringer, and it looks like they probably won't be able to set up a Zation next turn. I mean, they could always bring set up a Zation out of nowhere, though. There's a Welder. There is the Flint, but we're still short in energy. Um, so I think we have to take the Welder and Welder for one, and then hope to draw more stuff. Uh, yeah, basically just more stuff. We could also take the Quick Ball and use Dead A Change, which actually wouldn't be terrible. We'd lose a Crystal and a Retrieval. Um, I think Quick Ball for Dead A Change actually looks really good here if we want to get the knockout this turn. And I do really want to get the knockout this turn, so... Quick Ball away the Jirachi. Grab the Dedene. Yeah. Going to attach here. And then... With ordinary rod kind of want to leave the bench space open for oracorio that won't matter if they're going to take a knockout we'll have a bench space open anyways yeah did they change the whole hand we're digging for uh flint crystal gets us one all right so we're still in energy short here we can go flint away the big blown and a switch 
Yeah, fire flint, big blind, and switch. And then we're gonna need another flint. Um, three flint in the deck. Uh, energy retrieval only get one energy back here. Yep, all right, so we're gonna go retreat. Stellar wish again. No flint, but we did find a stadium nav, which can find us the uh, heat factory, which then can find us a way to find an energy or an energy itself. Two heads, grab the heat factory. Heat factory into play. Use heat factory. One, two, three, another flint, exactly what we're looking for. So I think we've done it here. Oh, we hadn't even used a welder yet. I didn't even realize that. We could have taken the welder. Um, well, that would have taken another energy out of hand. Probably wouldn't have been as good. Okay. Fire flint. I'm going to get rid of the escape board and the ultra space. Get these three energy out of the deck. And then that's the six we need to take the knockout. Switch into the baby blown. And a fireball circus. One, two, three, four, five, six. The Dedene does it. Circus, knock out our opponent's ADP, 300 damage. We have the Beast Bringer. We're going to draw four prize cards here. Our deck is super thinned out. Only 14 cards left in the deck as well. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Our opponent has zero energy in play. They need to set up position out of nowhere. Our cur they also need to reset stamp us, basically, at this point. Uh, which we think we know. They do have a reset stamp in hand, so... That's not going to be too difficult for them to pull off. But yeah, they need to create a Zation out of nowhere. They don't even have a Zation in play yet. Um, they do have all their Metal Saucer. So it wouldn't be too ridiculous if they were able to pull off the Zation play. Here comes a great catcher on my Dedene. I guess to stall for a little bit. One thing we did lose access to was the Burst GX. Which of course is not ideal. Not having access to Burst GX. Um, but I think that's... They're down one custom, one great. Okay, here comes a research. That's going to be two custom. There goes a Metal Saucer. So I don't think they're going to be attacking this turn. Um, currently that's fine with me. We can just go draw for turn, Trepid Sword, go from there. They're going to set up another ADP here. Should have plenty of energy left at one shot in ADP. There's a Fion to work with as well on their side. Okay. Draw for turn. I'm gonna go ahead and crystal these three. I'm gonna retreat the Dedene and get a Stellar Wish off, because I don't really see a reason not to. Um, or we could just get a knockout here. Um, I guess I kind of like the knockout a little bit more. Um, do I want a heat factory? I don't want to run out of energy. Got 9, 10, 11. There's 3 left. Um, I think we can heat factory here. Um, should have heat factoried first, but it's thinking through the process. All right. Fireball Circus here. Just put the pressure on our opponent to come up with an answer as soon as possible. Hang on, how much energy do I have left? I have two crystals and a he Oh, we have the Cramorant though, so we can actually just snipe something off the bench here. Um, or I can sit here and punch this with Blazer, but yeah, our, our game plan is not gonna be Cramorant snipe. There's the Whirlpool Suction. Um, don't think I can win next turn, so I'm just actually gonna set up this Jirachi so I can sell a wish with this Jirachi. I'm gonna start thinning out the deck with the Quick Ball. Well, we wanna keep Quick Ball to find Cramorant just in case we get stamped again. So we're gonna draw for turn here. Is a Welder, gonna Stellar Wish, grab the Fiery Flint. We're just gonna save it though, and then we're just gonna Zation for three. And yeah, we got Cramorant. They got an Absol in play. That's our game plan. Their Mew is in the discard pile. Otherwise, they could potentially protect their bench. And yeah, not having Burst GX at the end here definitely not ideal. But we had to get rid of Ordinary Rod and the Blacephalon. We still had a reasonable game plan in mind though, so I'm not not that big of a deal that it ended up going this way. And now we have just the Cramorant snipe on this Absol to win the game. Anyways. So we should be good. And I think we would have had enough energy here to actually take the knockout on the active pretty reasonably. I was like kind of concerned about my energy, but this guy didn't get knocked out. So uh, the fact that he didn't get knocked out means he just set up. That's three more energy we have in play. So send up the Jirachi and just go for that Cramorant snipe on the Absol. Energy retrieval for two. We have a switch in hand to move our active Jirachi. Cramorant comes down. Welder to the Cram. Attach to the Cram. Switch and then knock out with the spit shot on the Absol and back to back dubs over these ADP decks. That's what Baby Blounds does best is beat the ADP Zation decks. Uh, as you can see here, pretty smooth. It was a little bit more rough than the first one. Actually, the first one wasn't that that simple either, but we end up with the dubs. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give the video a like, enjoy the content, be sure to subscribe. Have a good day. Thanks for watching and peace.